wanted to do a little vlog. Um, it's going to be on productivity with chronic illnesses and how I deal with um, limitations with my chronic illness slash disability um, while living alone. Um, so today was a medium day. It wasn't a good day with my chronic illnesses and, and it wasn't a bad day with my chronic illness. If it was a bad day, obviously I wouldn't film. Um, so I will be checking in with you throughout the video to um, talk about how I'm feeling and what's happening in my body. Um, so it is a longer vlog than most of my other ones, but I would love it if you stuck through with me and subscribed and all that good stuff. Alright, let's get started. able to get dressed and um, do my hair without feeling like I'm gonna pass out um, but doing my hair does generally like lifting my head my hands up above my head for a prolonged period of time usually does uh, make me feel very dizzy and so doing my hair um, I will say is challenging sometimes if I'm doing a ponytail that's difficult for me um, so I do have a seat but I sit down while I'm doing my hair but um, I was just like, I'm just gonna put on a wig and I'm just gonna, you know, um, put on a beanie because this wig is, ooh. She looked ridiculous from the back. Yeah, I just wanna let you know, the back of your head is ridiculous. <laughs> um, but I just did not have the um, energy to style my natural hair or anything like that, so I just threw on a wig. It was raining yesterday, so I'm still feeling lightheaded from that. Uh, when I went to sleep, I was lightheaded as well, and it's continuing today, which really sucks. So right now, um, I am just resting um, since I was lightheaded. I did go out on my scooter, so it definitely helped me. Um, if I wasn't on my scooter, I probably wouldn't have been able to go outside, or at least for not that long. I did ride around the parking lot, so I definitely wouldn't be able to walk around the parking lot. I usually go outside every... Uh, every morning. It's part of my morning routine to go outside, get dressed, and something nice, you know. Um, so, I'm, so I have like my day clothes and my night clothes. So like I like to change because it kind of um, keeps me on track. It keeps me on track because um, I usually spend most of my time at home. Hey guys, so I am back in bed, which is something that does happen, um, like every now and then, like waking up and then going back to bed just like a couple hours, few hours later. Um, so I'm resting right now. Um, I started feeling really lightheaded, feeling like I was going to pass out. I was just getting really winded and stuff like that. And um, the pain in the back of my head. It was, a, it was a, like a migraine in the back of my head, like a basal, I think it's called a basal migraine. And I was just like, like I felt like I was about to pass out, so I was like, I need to go lay down, rest, and just stop, stop all operations. But um, I am starting to feel better. 
like honestly like when i when i felt like i was about to pass out i felt helpless like i felt i felt helpless and i was like oh my god like, am i gonna keep feeling this way for the rest of the day I, like i don't know how long i'm gonna be feeling like this i need to eat i need to clean i need to do my tasks i have all these things that i have to do today and i'd like to enjoy myself i'd like to get out and be in the sun and my neighbor came by um, asking me to hang out, which um, it was difficult for me to um, get to the door. But since I have my scooter sitting on the edge of my bed, I just slid into it, but even that was hard. Yeah, I, I was just scared that I was gonna be feeling sick for a long time and then I'll get worse and become like a vicious cycle and things like that. So um, I'm glad that I'm starting to feel better. Um, I'm still in pain, but um, I'm glad that I'm starting to feel better. chairs actually help me um, because I don't have to get up and go against gravity like I can just kind of like step off and um, it doesn't make me as dizzy because every time I stand up it is either painful or uncomfortable so usually um, I would start cleaning at this point but I know since I almost passed out this morning I need to rest more and I need to stay sitting. Um, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to do my calls and my emails and stuff like that. Um, so Monday I do calls. Tuesday I do emails. Wednesday I do physical mails. And that's how I kind of like keep on track with everything. So on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday I aim for like maybe three tasks a day. Like this isn't a good day for me. So, um, but it's not a bad day for me either. So it's in the middle. So if it was a bad day, I would not be recording. So um, on a good day, I have roughly about four hours of energy in me. And um, so even on a good day, I can't do a lot of things. So like um, just being consistent with like doing three tasks, two or three tasks um, for three days every week um, puts me ahead and it, it builds up because like if I get to do three tasks, for three days, that's three, six, nine. I've done nine things by the end of the week. So, um, and I leave the rest of the week to just kind of um, rest, kind of focus on me, housework, and um, just kind of like not overwhelm myself with other adulting things. You know? I also do want to know, like with the cleaning and stuff like that, I do have a personal care assistant. She comes in and helps me periodically. Yeah, it's been a huge, huge fucking help being able to have like a PCA, someone to help me with things, someone that I know has my back and stuff like that. Right now, I'm just going to head over to the office and um, just get my calls and emails done so I don't have to worry about them. better but I'm not at my baseline yet um, so I'm going to go outside hang out with my neighbor they came by earlier and asked me to hang out but I was just like no like I, I'm sorry I can't I feel really sick so um, after I rested ate and did my tasks I was like you know what I'm gonna go outside I'm gonna go hang out with my friend and neighbor and um, yeah so that'll be fun and nice and then when I come back inside I'm gonna try to clean Hopefully I have the energy and yeah. Right.
Since it was only like two spam musubis, it wasn't really enough to like fill me up. So um, I have like two choices. Um, these are both from like, it's not Meals on Wheels, but it's like um, companies like them. Because Meals on Wheels, it's fucked up that, you know, they don't actually deliver to anyone under 62. And I think that's pretty fucked up. Um, <clears throat> but at least I have, you know, like something else that can do the same thing for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like, I mean, this is supposed to be like, it's supposed to be like chicken mac and cheese, I guess. It, it's called chicken truffle mac. And it's truffle cheese, sauce, grilled onion, baked chicken breast topped with parsley. It's still pretty good. I mean, like, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, sometimes they bring us science projects, so though. I will say that, but. A gastronomic coup, Rolf. But sometimes they do, but this actually looks like they put some effort into it and looks really good. I'm very grateful. Um, and then this mojo chicken looks pretty good, too. So I, I think I'm actually going to go with this one. I think I'm going to go with this one and, and maybe put this back in the freezer. This still looks really good, too. And they actually spelled it right. In the last vlog, they um, gave us uh, something that said chisikin with an extra E. And I was like, what? <laughs> They're probably wondering what came through in Amazon. So this is what I got. It is a DIY backsplash peel and stick. And I'm going to put it on that wall. You know, just give it more of that, you know, kitchenette vibe. This is what the backsplash looks like. I really, really like it. I feel like it really brings out the gold accents in the black marble like they complement each other you'll see that it's nighttime now the sun is set and um, I'm going to rest for a little bit and then uh, I might do something creative like the guitar um, we'll see what I end up doing but probably just one more thing and then I'm gonna go to sleep I had a really great day and I um, got everything I wanted to done so that's always a great feeling.